The MK7 is finally back in Fortnite. Well, kind of. Fortnite just added the MK Alpha, which is very similar to the MK7. For starters, it looks the exact same and even has the same exact red dot scope, but the main differences lie within the stats. The MK Alpha shoots slightly slower than the MK7, but at the same time, it deals slightly more damage, so it kind of cancels out. But besides those differences, the MK Alpha is pretty much just a watered down MK7. So the MK Alpha is available in all rarities. We currently have a green one, which deals 23 damage and has a fire rate of 7. The MK7 had a fire rate of 9. So it's not that big of a fire rate difference. And I'm not sure if it's going to be noticeable when we're fighting. I guess we'll have to find out. There's also a mythic version of the MK Alpha that hasn't been released yet, but is definitely coming sometime this season. And apparently that deals 28 damage to the body, which is pretty insane. All right, there's someone here that's going to be our first victim with the MK Alpha. Time to find out how good this gun really is. Okay, you know what? It seems pretty good. I can't lie. The good thing about the increase in damage is that it's going to be more viable from longer ranges as well. Oh my god, that was pretty close, but we got away with it. I think we were hitting 34 to the head there. Not bad at all. With the addition of the MK Alpha, the Red Eye Assault Rifle has been vaulted. In my opinion, the Red Eye was one of, if not the best assault rifles in the game. So it's kind of sad to see that go. But so far, the MK Alpha definitely seems like a worthy replacement. But then again, it's definitely way too soon to make a judgment. Let's keep playing and see just how good it really is. But oh, someone over here too. Okay, I definitely want to get my hands on a higher rarity MK Alpha. Maybe a golden one or even a purple one would be fine. The good thing about the MK Alpha slower fire rate is that it also has less recoil, which means it's going to be a lot easier to hit your shots. Also, the magazine size is only 30 compared to the MK7's 35. Some more shots in the distance. You know we're getting involved. And now we can find out just how good this thing is at long ranges. Oh, this guy almost robbed me of my kill. Oh, someone just sniped this guy and stole our kill. No way. Come on. Yeah, you like that? Okay, this gun is definitely a monster. Not on my watch. I really hope we can get our hands on a higher rarity MK Alpha. If just the green version is this good, imagine how good the purple or gold ones are. Like I mentioned earlier, because of the increased damage, this gun's gonna be a lot more useful from long ranges. There's a lot of loot down here, oh my god. Oh, let's go. We can get a purple MK Alpha with this hollow chest. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and take a look at this thing's numbers. 25 damage with the reload time of 2.38. So it looks like as you increase rarities, the damage is going to increase by one and the reload speed is also going to increase. Only six people left. We have six kills. And so far, this gun is definitely impressing me. Let's see if it keeps it up. Oh, this guy's still here. There's two guys here. Oh my God. There's one at the top and one at the bottom. There's a llama here too. Wow. Oh, wait a minute. We got to go zone. I just realized. Yep, we can just keep on running. There's a guy right in front of us. Okay, you know what? We're going to go on the high ground and absolutely beam him with our rifle. Oh, this guy had so low. We absolutely beamed him with this rifle. When I heard that the fire rate was lower than the MK7s, I definitely had my doubts, but this gun is proving me wrong. Only five people left. We're up to seven kills. Let's keep cooking. This mountain is crazy. You know what? If we can get to the top of this mountain, I think we'll be set. This is going to be absolutely perfect for beaming everyone. I'm just hoping we don't get sniped. All right, only four people left. Where could they be? Honestly, this might be a better place to be than this mountain that we're at right now. I might have to make my way over there. You know what? We're doing it. Only three people left. We gotta go. There's also a launch pad there, which is gonna be absolutely perfect for rotating. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Luckily, we do have the infinite sprint SMG, so we can just keep on running. Oh my god, this is in the next circle as well. This is absolutely perfect place to be. Should be a zip line here. Yes, there is. Two people left. Heard shots in this direction. Not seeing anything though. Oh, I see a guy right there. Yeah, there we go. There's one guy right there. There should be one more somewhere. All right, we just got to keep our head low and not get sniped. And we should have this in the bag. Oh my God, this gun is nasty. 
There's one guy there, but where's the other guy? I see him. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We now know where both these guys are. But this guy's wearing a white skin, so he's blending in fairly well. Okay, looks like we're going to have to go down a floor. And of course, we have to make the longest run to get to circle now. I think we're just going to go ahead and get started now. Hope I don't die. Oh my god. Thought I was going to die to fall damage right there. That would have been a shame. Let's go ahead and go all the way around so no one can shoot us. I know both these guys are in the snow biome, so if we stay here, we should be good. All right, decent amount of damage. Oh, they're fighting. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The 1v1 situation. Let's go ahead and seal this game. All right, we both got to go zone. Let's go ahead and do it. Oh, this guy can hide behind this ice ledge. I see. That's pretty convenient. They're trying to sneak up behind me. Oh, he has no idea where we are. GG's, that's new for today's video. This gun is definitely a beast. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.